So we do Leo so, first. Leo first, okay. Who wants to go first? Not yet, I'm shuffling. Okay. <laughs> I always do that when I start uh, something. Yeah. Do you want me to go first? Yeah? Yeah, can yeah, do, yeah. Why not? All right, okay. So Leo, 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 okay. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you get carried away, you go, oh. Oh, it's good. It's going to be a good one. Okay, so Leos, this is for you. So predictions for the 7th through to the 13th of March. It's my mama's birthday on the 9th. Um, so happy birthday for her this week. Um, okay, so. Okay. So I'm picking up on a bit of jealousy energy going on around Leo's this week. Um, you're going to be feeling like, you know, this is really getting tiresome now. You know, it could be that somebody's trying to make you jealous. Somebody's trying to. So because we're reading a collective, there can be multiple reason, me meanings between this. So for some people, um, it may be that you are being made to feel jealous. And for other people, it could be that someone's jealous of you. Okay, so to do with jealousy, Leos. Um, there's gonna be rushing around, lots and lots of things to do, racing here, racing there. You know, you know, it's like also juggling of money. Everybody juggles money, but sometimes it's worse than others, okay? So that's gonna be kind of frustrating. By the middle of the week, the middle of the week for Leos is gonna be a little bit of, um, you know, you know, when you've been working really, really hard to, to achieve what you want to achieve and you've kind of worked your way up and there's the success, there's the reward, there's everybody say, well done, congratulations. This is fantastic. You know, they're really happy for you. You're now ready for the next challenge. So it's like, I've done that. Now I'm going to do my next bit. The end of the week is linked to kind of things coming to an end and new beginnings okay and I feel this is to do with your emotions I feel emotionally you know it's a little bit of torment um, you want something that you can't have you know and that's not going to feel good okay so partly um you know partly you're having to um it's like you're being let down by someone someone keeps promising things and then it doesn't come to anything that's going to be a little bit frustrating um, so you may feel as if you want to let go. Does that make sense? And move on. Okay. So there you go, Leo's for you. Who wants okay. to go next? Jill, do you want to go next? Yeah, I'll go. Yep. Um, okay. So um, I, I've put, shall I just base it on just my three cards plus some emotion cards? You do whatever you want to do, yeah. Jill. Yeah. Okay. Um, great cards, really because we've got two major arcana here, the Magician and Death card. And um, I think they're great cards. They're probably, to me, some of the best. <laughs> um, there's definitely, for me, a couple of things. It feels like there are some choices that they are going to have to make, possibly to do with relationships. One of it, um, I feel, do I walk away, do I stay? So they, it, it's, it, it's, it's kind of a choice. Um, whatever pathway I feel that they decide to take, I, 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 do, I honestly feel they will make the right choice. Um, the death card for me is signifying um, transformation, a change in their life that's significant. However, because I've got the magician, I actually am feeling it's, it's really positive. It, it's not a negative at all. Emotionally, um, if it is to do with a relationship, it may be that it could be either or that walk away from a relationship. Um, now, obviously, relationship doesn't have to be a partner. It can be walking away from a friendship. It could, could uh, potentially be walking away from a company because the company you work for is a relationship, isn't it, in a way? So um, I definitely feel that they will be looking at different choices around this time. Um, but just understand that this change is needed to happen. 
Um, I feel it's for their best interests that these changes will happen for them. Yeah, that's what I've got. <laughs> <laughs> you should do your own. I, I swear you should do your own. Oh, I, I'm always looking to it. You can always come on here and do mine, but but I would definitely, just, you know, go for it. And I've got my own channel, so I I, I might exactly. Go. Why yeah. don't you mention? Put it in the chat. Your your channel. Okay. So well, I might have to more... set. I might have to set a different one up because the one I've got is just for some music, which um. Oh, is okay. Yeah. Way. But if um, people want a reading with you, both of you, make sure that you put your details in the comments, okay? So yeah. people can get in touch with you. Okay. Yeah. All right, over to you then, Vera. What you got? Well, <clears throat> looking at my cards, shame and dreams again. Mm -hmm. So, and I feel that this is really close to people's heart. And these are unbelievable. Because the first card from the beginning of the week, the benefactor, grace and generosity. And when you put that on your heart, how you feel or insight towards others, everything you do is done from grace, from love, and you give on a very generous level. And when <laughs> I'm so drawn to how these two are cuddling up. So much love, so much joy together. And I feel that it, Leos may have been going through a lot of hard times, but the upcoming week will be a lot better, especially about that love, about the giving, because it's gonna come back uh, at you, for you. Because the middle of the week, I got the fortune wheel, luck and right timing. And it tells me, and it's not just about the luck, but when you do feel it's the right time, you're going to send out everything you need to be sent out and that will be sent back to you. Because that wheel, I'm extremely drawn to that beautiful light flash coming on one side and that's just a fire and compassion and towards the end of the week the eye of the needle intentionality you've always had the intention to do well and you just didn't got, uh, be there how to get to the other side but towards the end of the week, that eye of the needle all of a sudden opens up. And with that intention, you're just shine. Because I'm all that light, all that firelight around it is what I'm most drawn to, which tells me you're going to shine really, really bright. And people probably need sunglasses to look at you. They're really nice cards, Vera. Aren't they? They're might, beautiful cards. Might have to get those as well. They can't fit any more in my little my, my little case. <laughs> <laughs> the Shaman's Dream Oracle. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So we're going on to Sachi. Oh, Sachi! This is yours now. <laughs> it's me. Okay. So it was a good reading for Leo's. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Okay. So Sagittarius now. Hi, Beryl. Hello, Sarah. Hi, How Sarah. are you doing? How's Ray? Okay. So Sagittarian. So I'm just tuning in. Okay. Sagittarius. So it feels as if um, you've been isolating yourself emotionally, Sagittarius. It's been something to do with it I can't take anymore. Um, so I just need to make sure that I've got all of my barriers up around me. And perhaps I don't really want to reach out to many people. I just want to stay in my little bubble. OK, but there is some good news that is going to bring you right outside of that bubble um, at the beginning of the week. It's going to make you feel um, 
more positive about your life, about the possibilities that are going on in your life, and where 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 things are taking you. It's like, um, you know, you can really see the light at the end of the tunnel um, for your own self personally. You know, it's like, you know, things are lifting, pressure is lifting. And obviously I know that that's what's going on with you, Jill, but I have, that's what I'm getting, just to be yeah. that's what I'm getting. I'm, you know, we've got the world card and we've got the isolation card. So, um, so there. So this beginning. And then the middle, um, the middle of the week, um, you're going to be also, um, there is always a theme that runs through all the 12 signs. Uh, always okay every single week we've done it there's always a theme so we'll see what that theme is but at the moment I've got once again a letting go walking away kind of feeling again so um this time I feel that it's to do with kind of um people who are putting up too much um it's like people who are too hard work to get along with you know when you're trying really hard to be patient you're trying to mm -hmm. communicate you're trying to sometimes tippy toe around them I feel that your patience levels are going to be a little bit yeah extreme it's like I, I can't do this I can't do it I don't want to do it either <laughs> so you know so people better not push you too much um yeah serious okay the middle I don't want to see the other side because <laughs> it's like we can be very kind we can be very helpful um, yeah. be overly helpful sometimes even to our own de detriment but mm. there is a point when that point is enough and you're getting close to it okay so it's all about boundaries okay going up okay yeah. being independent as well it's like I need to be independent I need to have my own time time is important to me so yeah. then I'm seeing um with this kind of lift as so I said so you've been feeling all that pressure I'm seeing mm. study, development, research, looking into things. I'm seeing new money coming into your life. And this is all going to happen very suddenly. It's going to be very sudden and kind of like wallop. There you go. That's what you've been waiting for. We've now given it to you. So it's like the universe yeah. knows what you want, but they know that you can't handle it. And then all of a sudden, once that pressure starts to lift, it's like there, this is there. Okay. So, um, so Julie, I'm when because there was not anybody really who wanted a reading. They basically yourself and Linda wanted a private reading. So if I take people's names down who want um, a reading but they want it privately, uh, I still do it for the same price. The, the, the quickies for the ten. Um, I, I'll put your name down and then I'll contact you afterwards, or I'll get you to come into the Zoom and then I'll take it off live. Okay, I don't think you can do that. You have to start a new live, don't you? No. You can. You can just, when you, the way, uh, when you click on it, the, on, on the live, you can. Oh, I see, yeah, I can do that. All right. Yeah, so, um, so what I'll do when we finish the astrology, I'll just invite you guys in. Um, so I think it's Linda and you so far, so. All right, over to Jill. Um, okay, so I see for Sagittarius, um, and I'm quite liking this, kind of rings true for me, actually, as I'm looking at them. There's definitely been a period of time, as you've stated, Abby, because um, I've got the hermit. So I do feel that there's been a time for Sagittarians where they have needed to be a little bit out of the limelight, taking a little bit of a back seat. Um, however, I do see there's a definite possibility of a new venture. Now, this could be new job or a new project that somebody is taking on. Um, could be to do with work as well. Doesn't have to be within the home. Um, but there is something to celebrate. It's it's definitely a positive that's going to happen. Okay, and on 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 an emotional level. Um, I feel in a way uh, they're, they're kind of a little little bit of a crossroads here and there's the I want to say there's a realization that they need to kind of change course a little bit it, it, it's like they don't want to keep carrying on the way they've been going because it's 
it, it doesn't feel on an emotional level that it's been absolutely fantastic. And as a Saji, I can I can understand that. So it's time for a different course, a different way to go. But it's doing something that you truly love. So that's what I would say to the to any Sagittarians out there. Go and do something fun. Do something that you you enjoy. Don't look at something in a, in in a negative. Change change course now because it just feels as though that's that's going to be a good positive way to go for the Sagittarians. That, that's how I see that with them. So yeah, definitely something to celebrate. That's really cool. Yay! Yeah. So I've got Sagittarius Moon. Yeah. So. Oh, have you? I like that. <laughs> celebrate. See what see what Vera has to say. Uh, Concha, I've got you on the list as reading number number three. So uh, reading number one is Linda. Number two is Julie, <clears throat> and number three is Concha. Anyway, sorry, over to you, Vera. Yeah, I'm going to just sorry. quickly make a drink. I'll be back. Yes. Okay. Well, for Sagittarians for the upcoming week, and it feels like an well, some sort of advice. Because the first card that came out says Sky Dances Surrender. And I see it's, it, I, it's, it, it, uh, to me, it feels like all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you feel like you want to dance. Just deep inside, surrender to it. Or just say you want to that you walk past your bed and I think, oh, I would love, give in to it. Because it isn't a preparation. You need to have that moment in time because you can dance, you can, anything that you feel inside, I want to do it, do it. But usually you don't because you don't have the time. Well, take it one minute, do it. Because that one minute can change your whole day. And that will help you towards the middle of the week. And I have the dust devil moving out of stagnation. So may, it, that tells me that you have been maybe in a period of every day, the same routine, the same rhythm, the same, I'm going to first drink my coffee or my tea and do this. But I see you literally, when, when you kick off that week, just give in to what you feel. See that dust pushed out of your way, with just the dust devil, or just something like this, waving it away. And instead of feeling, for, okay, I got it. All of a sudden you feel a lot lighter. It's, it's just, you're moving forward. And then towards the, end of the week and that's not face to face it is mindful think and it is a group think but i it feels more like it's going to be with your spiritual group your guides your spiritual guides just to sit down enjoy the beauty and i was to have a beautiful conversation with you guiding you to whatever you need to do or want to know because you maybe have been thinking about things. How, God, how, 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 how will I do that? They will let you know. So give it time. So the whole week, the preparation, give into the feelings of what you want to do. If you want to dance, if you want to scream, scream. That's the way that literally, and you can just visualize you're literally dusting away that dust that's been in front of you and you can see the clear and then you have that group thing. And yes, it can also be face to face, but I feel it's more based on the spirit guides. That's what I got for a Sagittarius. Thank you, lovely. Thank you both. You're welcome. The Aries now, this is yours, isn't it Vera? I'm curious because the last one was extremely spot on. 
I never remember what I've said. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, so um, beginning of the week for Aries, and this is just to reiterate, it's the 7th through to the 13th of March, uh, 2022, just in case you're seeing this. Um, so what I'm seeing here is um, a strong feeling of, of change, okay? Bright change, bright future. Uh, we've got the wheel of fortune with the sun. So you don't get better than that if you want change, okay? If you want good change, if things aren't, haven't been going your way, um, if things have been a bit heavy, if you felt kind of stagnant, um, this is definitely the moving forward um, that, that you deserve, okay? There are some secrecy issues, okay? So it could be you trying to be more secretive. It could be you being private. Does that make sense? Doing things kind of, um, you know, without other people knowing maybe, you know, it's like uh, it's important to, to keep... Um, Keep yourself, um, it's like um, grounded. What can I handle? I want to move forward, but what can I handle? Um, okay. So the middle of the week, um, the middle of the week is um, having a spend out. I see that either things are going to be more expensive than you realised. That's usually the case for everything, isn't it? <laughs> um, but it can be just, you know, that there is something that you're having to spend out on and you think, oh dear, I've overspent. I need to be... Uh, more careful um i need to kind of you know wind my neck in a little bit um um but and i feel that there it's like you have to then be patient for other things to come about okay it's like you know you've got to wait and see now does that make sense um what's going to happen it's like something to do with money is on hold um so you haven't got what you wanted just what i mean from a situation but all of that is now moving forward as we've seen with the wheel and we've seen with the sun okay so um you know the obstacles are not going to be there very long so stand in your ground over a matter of principle um something that you have decided is um yeah it's something that you've decided that you feel very strongly about okay so this is like you know um you might not understand it but i understand it the way i'm understanding it and this is how it is so um, it's like not wanting to tread carefully around the situation, wanting to kind of be a little bit more blunt um, with some sort of changes that are happening, some big changes that are happening at the end of the week that you have made decisions on. You know, other people may not understand your, you know, it's like a guillotine moment. Does that make sense? It's like, I'm finalising this. This is not going to happen anymore. I am done. But then we've got the wheel, which means moving forward. This means maybe doing things differently. You know, um, things, you know, it might have cost a bit of money in order for you to do things differently. You know, maybe that's all going to change and, and, and work out. But yeah, so it's like a, a busy, really, really busy um, organization is what I'm seeing here. But it's like I'm doing that. I've organized that. Then I've organized that. Then I've organized this. Um, and I'm not budging on any of it. <laughs> it's like you know um you know you can't you can't teach me anything because i'm just doing it so your kind of fire energy is really coming out you said your dragon energy um yeah you're on it <laughs> so there you go aries watch out people around aries <laughs> <laughs> i've sometimes said when someone told me you don't want to see me angry i will <laughs> said back you don't want to see me angry. No. Oh. <laughs> well, hopefully I never, ever will, because I'll never pee you off to that degree, will I? <laughs> I don't think I can be angry at you, Ali. No. People Maybe do. with you. People do. Um, it's like, I'm like, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> I still cop it. <laughs> anyway, Jill. Okay, so um, I feel for some some of the areas out there, uh, there has been quite a lot of reflection, I would say, on the past. Um, but what they need to realise is that they're actually, their, their life is kind of, it feels in a way very much like it's just really beginning. 
because they are starting now to feel a little bit more content and happy in their own lives. Okay, it's sort of the beginning changes in a way that, that is needed. Um, sometimes I, I, I feel as though they, how can I put it? It's, it's, it's that you know, sometimes you have to let go of the past and not carry that with you. So if you are heading into a new relationship, just try and remember past is past and not every new relationship um, is going to be the same because people aren't the same. OK, um, so I feel that the positives, there are absolute positives there because I've got the Ten of Cups. To me, that's my absolute contentment card. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So it, to me, that's really, yeah, it's good. It's not, not negative. Um, again, the, my emotional cards here are definitely showing me that it is time to let go of the past. Don't do what others do I, if I'm honest I get the feeling that Aries will only do what they want to do anyway that they're, they're, they're what I would class as leaders in life and they don't tend to be the followers they they, they make their own way in life um, and it is time now let go of the past and leave it where it is and just look to the future because the future is definitely bright for, for some of those areas out there. It's, it's lovely. Yeah, that's what I've got for areas over the next week. I, I, saw, I have had dreams. Me with a machete going through <laughs> the forest where no one has ever walked and make a path. And I've had periods that they were really re repetitive <laughs> trailblazer yep basically clearing your pathway ahead yeah basically of all the vines and all the <laughs> yeah. getting rid of all the crap any, any sort of tree or anything that's blocking you yeah, yeah. you can clear it can't you yeah i've i've had one they were was trying to break out a big wall, but it was built as a fire wall. They couldn't break it with a huge sledgehammer. And I got so angry, it went down. <laughs> <laughs> but then it was a channeled one. Okay, what I got for Aries, and I love it when I card does not want to get back in the deck and comes out again after I just got it. So for wow. Aries, for the beginning of the week, the dust devil again, moving out of stagnation. And just, I'm looking at myself. I have been feeling stuck for a while. But beginning of the week, it, yeah, I, I, I talked about that machete. You're going to start hacking your way forward and you're not going to let any twines or twigs holding you back. And those that try to stand in front of you, they, they'll run when they see the machete coming down. So that's, in not fact, literally. literally, they will run. <laughs> And it is, I, th I feel a lot for a lot of Aries, it is time. We've been held back way too long. And now it is literally time to get on that path, go forward. Because I think a lot of Aries have always had a total different view on life, different ideas think out uh, always think out of the box and we're always told uh just vivid imagination but this is what i feel aries is really about eye of the eyes of the eagle 
rising above the fray. And yes, people, when you felt a lot of weight in you because people don't want you to see from the sky to what's really going on, because that's what Aries are all about. A lot of them. Get on it. Trust that instinct because you know uh, from experience that even you've never spoken it out, you are seeing the real deal. And that's all in preparation because towards the end of the week, it is the Varda gate, the bold step forward. And yep, there have been a lot of elastic bands keeping you from going through. But with that machete in the hand from the beginning of the week, you're going to cut all those electric band, el elastic bands and you're going to shoot forward. And that's what but, but Jill also get, fit in. Mm -hmm. You're going to leave the past behind because mm -hmm. those cords, those elastic bands are past cord from the mm -hmm. past. So don't be scared when you reach the end of the week. Nice Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So my life suddenly come up on here. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Look how Aries will blow you away. Yeah. <laughs> um, Julie, you've got ages to go yet, so don't worry about kind of rushing about. Um, we're going to be a, a, about an hour, maybe more, um, before we finish the reading. So. Um, so what do you think with all those people? Do you think uh, it's air signs? Earth signs next. What do you reckon, guys? You choose, Vera. Air signs. Okay, so we're going to do air signs now, everybody. I didn't look, and I just switched them over, and that, that one came out. That's fair enough. So we start with Aquarius. Okay, and then we'll do Gemini, and then Libra. I know a gorgeous person who's a triple leaf. I don't know if you know that I love him. I don't know if anybody knows that. No, I, I haven't noticed that. You've not noticed? No. no. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe because I closed my eyes. I'm a bit in love. Um, well, really? Oh. Um, okay, so Aquarius, Aquarius. Here we Aquarius. go. Aquarius. Your Aquarius. Okay. okay. Right, so let's have a look and see what's going on with you. Okay, 7th through to the 13th of March 2022. We have to keep saying that just to reiterate for you if you've only just tuned in. Um, but you know, you might have might come in to see this um at a later date. Okay, so this will be on my YouTube. And if you guys want to put these on your channels, you are welcome to. Thank you. No, you can just... Um, um, just out of curiosity, I know we're live, but are we allowed to just say what we're getting? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So... I don't always like what I get, so I'm like, do I have to say that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so kind of end End it on a light, do you know what I mean? It's like, you know. You have to pull another go. Not always. Well, it is really. Not always, do you know what I mean? You know, hearts and roses, is it? You know? No, no, yeah. life wouldn't be life if it was no. all <laughs> happy and jolly. And... All right, so let's have a look. So the beginning of the week, okay. There is, um, okay, so I'm picking up on a motherly character or emotional matter links to kind of uh, nurturing, okay? We've also got somebody kind of from the past um, coming in to your life, okay? So I don't know if, you know, for some of you, it could be a mother figure coming into your life who has been estranged or, you know, they've kind of been distant or you might have been distant from your mum, 
It could be that you as a mum have been distant from your children and that's getting better. It could be that there's a motherly character as a friend. Okay, so the Empress is lots of, there's lots of different meanings for the Empress, but it's not to do with financial in this matter um, that I'm picking up here. It's because it's, the, it's with the Nine of Cups. Okay, so it's like somebody coming back in. Yeah, there has been not wor no words exchanged or there's been difficulties with conversations. Um, things haven't gone to plan, maybe, when, you know, there's, um, you know, topics have been discussed. Okay, there's my love there. Oh. So, um, so, yeah, I feel that there is um, kind of a walk in sideways around this situation. You know, when you're trying to be, you're trying to be diplomatic. Um, you're trying not to make things worse, okay? Um, there seems to be some plans, meaning that you're, you know, when you've got to meet up with that person or your past is going to be blending with that person and you want, you know, things to run as smoothly as possible. Um, and, and so you're having to kind of, you know, get to grips with how you're going to handle it, okay? I'm seeing a personal celebration Okay, so this, this feels as if, you know, say if you've got a party that you're gonna to go to or, you know, it just feels as if there's something that you're gonna be attending. Okay, so, um, and then finally I've got um, outspoken words. So I think we're all gonna pick up on the same thing. <laughs> outspoken words, juggling of money, juggling of finances, juggling of your energy, okay? Trickiness, okay? And we've got kind of somebody with an Aryan energy, okay? And we know what is going to be happening with Aries <laughs> this week. So you can imagine that character coming in to your lives, Aquarius, okay? And there's going to be outspoken words. So, um, so yeah, I don't think mine was much better than, than yours is going to be. But I will say that there is an underlying feeling of love because I've just picked out two positive cards, which is, celebration of love and that you're going to be very proud of yourself by the way you handle things you personally the way that you are handling things it could be that other people might not be handling it nicely but for you you're proud of how you are okay jill uh, right okay um obviously this won't apply to every aquarius out there but what i want to say is um, there could possibly be a disagreement between two people, um, but I do need to say, please, if you can, try not to do it around the children, um, because I feel very much as though it. Any sometimes, if you've got parents or you know, sort of disagreeing with each other, it can affect children, as as we all know. Um, as adults this this does happen but it also sort of like feels as though uh, you could be dealing with somebody how can I put it um they're very they can be very opinionated but on the other side of things they are um sort of woe is me is how I would say. So one minute they're kind of maybe laying the law down, you know, and, and, and I don't know why I'm picking up that this will link in with children, but I, I, I am. Um, what I want to say to Aquarius is, it feels very much as though you would need to kind of stand your ground. You know the best way forward um, and you've kind of got to stick to it is what I would say. All right, but just be aware not to allow any younger energies um, around any disagreements that may happen. Um, like I say, might not apply to um, every Aquari Aquarius out there, um, but I do feel some of you that may come up during this week. Um, on a personal uh, level, Aquarius, I do feel that you are kind of looking ahead at your future. And I want to say, keep your eye and your vision on the end goal, all right? Because you are kind of being guided on a different pathway in your life at the moment. Um, 
And the more you keep that vision alive, um, more obstacles are just going to be removed out of your way. So basically, I feel um, the universe is doing this for you. They are kind of making these changes happen in your life. But do stick to your guns on where it is you want to go. Um, that feels really quite important for you. And even though you might not necessarily know how you're going to get from A to B, so to speak, um, by keeping that alive in your mind and the end goal, you can get there and you will. Because I feel you have the determination. And that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Over to you, Vera. Thank you, Jill. Okay. Now, in, in a way, I think we're all on the same path. Even though my card at the other end of the week look like they're a big shock. So I'm going to run through all three quickly because they are completely connected to each other. Because the beginning of the week, it's the Garden of Venus, rest and renewal. And to me, it feels like it's something you need to do. So that the middle of the week, the crossing, the initiation, and that feels like for those that have not been fully connected with spirit is going to happen because you're it, you need to prepare calm down and it's also about that maybe you've been feeling for a while as a, the root girl the disowned self like it's been on fire but if you put those all together to uh, the beginning of the week if you start and kick it off with that Garden of Venus, just sit back and literally put your boundaries up because you need to be in your own energy. Don't let anyone else. And you will have the chance to work with your spirit guides on a bigger level. So, and even though that this own self suggest you're not with yourself but this is to me i i hear the words you are getting control back over that disowned cell because you've seen it and it's time for you to take yourself and own your own energy that's what i got so yeah, that looks in, in the end of the week like it's horrible, but it's more like it was it and you're getting it back. Well, we we have to give what we get, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So Gemini's. Okay, let's have a look yep. at Gemini's. Okay, beginning of the week, Gemini's. Um, there's going to be some discussions and talks about home situations and whether or not should we move, should we stay where we are, should we decorate? Um, you know, I just want, I just fancy a change. You know, I'm not feeling settled the way I did, or maybe you've just moved. It's all to do with feeling a bit uprooted. Okay, there's also somebody who's nagging and nagging and nagging. OK, I'm hearing kind of nagging and gossiping. Does that make sense around you as well? Um, the temperance we've got here is so it's all about trying to get the balance. And sometimes we, we always can sometimes we sometimes we can blow things out of proportion. Sometimes it's like, yes, there's some tricky situations. And yes, this isn't, you know, going as well as you wanted it to. But at the end of the day, is it that bad? The majority of the time. You know, is it just every now and again that things get you down? You know, try and keep yourself grounded before you make big decisions, I think is what the cards are saying, Gemini's. So once again, there's a, it's like I've got a lot of money coming in, but then I've got a lot of money going out. So it's like you've either had some money saved and therefore you're then spending it or you're purchasing something big with it. But there's something that is quite prominent to do with money in hands and out or 
coming in and then out or you know you've you've spent some money and then you get some money back I don't know just something to do with in and out does that make sense with money um emotionally there's a lot of emotions flying about for you uh Gemini's it's like you know you're feeling as if somebody's taking you for granted it's like you know that's unfair you know why are they treating you like that so you're trying to isolate your emotions you're trying to toughen up you're trying to take things as you find them um but i feel that there is some disruption emotional disruption in a house in a household it's to do and it's a household that you live in or you spend a lot of time in okay and it feels as if it's like um yes so it's more emotional than anything uh, for some of you there's going to be some decorating moving and changes i'm seeing to do with the house and that therefore feeling a little bit kind of everything's a bit upside down so there you go over to you jill okay so for gemini feel very much as though you're you're focusing um basically on your I'm going to put it your finances focusing on bringing in money um it feels very much but I also feel you're feeling quite contented um at the same time everything is just sort of like flowing in nicely um I don't see any problems around money um definitely not there what I would say is um it feels as though there may have been disagreements or um, it's, not, it's not quite arguments, but it's disagreements, um, I feel as though I've got to say, with somebody, um, and this was in the past, and now it is time to change, okay? Um, there's very much a feeling you want a, a happy family unit. You want a happy life. You want to feel comfortable that you've got enough money coming in, um, you know, to, to support your family or, or even just to support yourself uh, for anyone that is single out there. Um, definitely the past, I feel, is coming to an end, you know, where there has been disagreements or, you know, discussions or heated discussions, shall we say. Um, more more to more to speak really on that that to me that's very much past um we've got the nine of pentacles and ten of pentacles and for me that is very much a focus on you know health wealth and happiness for yourselves all right time to let go of the past um i also feel for some of you there is this feeling of needing to be very independent um not relying on anybody else to make your happiness. Um, it's the realization that you are the only one who can make yourself happy, that can provide for yourself. Um, again, I, um, I've got the same card that I had out a little while ago. You're definitely being guided on a more productive, I'm gonna say a productive route in life. OK, and I, what I would say is go with it. Just let go of any arguments, let go of anything that you're hanging on to um, from the past, because that's where it needs to stay. And you need to sort of focus on what is coming towards you. All right. Which is very, very positive from what I can see here. And sometimes we have to be a little bit selfish and think of ourselves at times. You know, it's all well and good being there for everybody else. That's, you know, that's admirable, isn't it? But sometimes you just got to focus on you as you move forward. And that's what I've got. And I'm still on, we're on Gemini, right? I still have the right one. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, for Geminis, beginning of the week, and I love it when it intertwines with the other two sky dancer for the beginning of the week surrender and yeah surrender you can keep thinking about a lot of things that has happened but when you surrender to the now to stay in the now you will feel a lot more 
like the beautiful butterfly because it takes time to get out of that cocoon and really show your real true self. And you can keep thinking about a lot of things that will only clutter your mind because, and I feel strongly that this is more about the energy, about your own energy, because the middle of the week, it says a tidy house, clarity and organization. And you have to, sometimes you really have to surrender to what is truly beneficial for you. And when you start sorting out your thoughts, your energy, and literally like you're sifting, like you're going through a huge box with items, keep, throw out, donate, give back what no longer serves you. And if you put that on your own energy, your thoughts that don't belong to you, you will feel you can breathe. And then towards the end of the week, the sky riding, the fates. And I literally see the Gemini's just sitting down, looking to the sky and maybe even the moon. I don't know what type of moon it is by then and just write down in your mind write down in the sky all your wishes your hopes and your dreams and the universe will provide you with up opportunities and the chances to get it fulfilled that's what i got for thank you ladies Thank you. Okay, so we're doing Libra. So I've got Libra rising and Greg's a triple Libra. So let's have a look what's going on for, for you guys. Okay, so 7th through to the 13th of March. Okay, right, so um, lots of hard work. It's gonna be very, very busy, busy, busy. Okay, time, okay. Um, like lots to do, rushing about, okay. I feel that there's a, a lovely spiritual feeling around um, Librans this week. Lots of kind of spiritual moments where, you know, there's lots of coincidences kind of like you're rushing and tearing about, you've got things to do, but then you'll stop fast and you'll see something lovely happen. You know, like there's, you know, there's, you, you see, I don't know, some beautiful flowers or something, or, or you'll see, you know, out of, um, you know, like the other day, I've, I walked out into my car park, it's concreted over. And um, just down the crack of the concrete, there was one little flower that had poked its way up and it's like spring's coming. Do you see what I mean? So it's always good. And every time that I see daffodils, I know that spring's coming. You know, it's like that feeling, isn't it? That you, you kind of know each time and that gives you this buzz feeling. So it doesn't matter how busy you are, you're noticing spiritual things. Um, there's gonna be some issues around transport and cars. Okay, cars, transport, getting from A to B, kind of um, having to, you know, it's like I've got so much to do and I've got this much time to do it. And oh, my goodness. And now that's gone wrong or, you know, that plan didn't work or, you know, there's kind of lots of frustrations. So look out for those. Have a plan B in the back of your mind. OK, so middle of the week is very sarcastic. OK, you've got my most sarcastic card in the deck, the three of swords, which is just get on with it. Don't keep saying you're going to do it, you're going to do it, you're going to do it. Just do it and just say, I've done it. It's going to make you feel really good as well that you've got on with it. Um, there's also a feeling of letting go sometimes. Um, there's someone around you who's sulking and they're sulking because they want to get your attention. This person 
they're not going to get your attention, especially this time around the middle of the week, because you're not playing their games. You're not chasing after them because they're not talking to you. You've decided that I'm, I've had enough of that. If you're the one that's sulking, then you might be feeling a bit miffed because nobody is noticing or pretending not to notice that you're upset. Okay, so maybe we have to kind of be more, let's sit down and talk. Um, let's get things off our chest, maybe. Um, do it in a fun way, do it in a sarcastic way. Sometimes that is the best way. It, it kind of like people, they know how you're feeling, but they're not necessarily gonna buy it and it's gonna be that heavy conversation. Um, once again, I've got the letting go card. So once again, we've got that theme running, running through again. Okay, by the end of the week, you've got the sun. Okay, the sun, happiness, brightness, excitement in life. Okay, I feel that there's going to be something that's going to really take, um, take you on a journey. It's like um, a, a subject. It could be something that's going on or something that's mentioned. You know, you've, you've seen um, an advert or you've seen, you know, um, you know, video or something and it leads you down maybe a rabbit hole that you think, wow, okay, I didn't think much of that. It wasn't gonna be anything to do with me, but all of a sudden I'm kind of, it's opened up new doors. Now, sometimes that can be the truth of stuff. And other times that just might be that you've always fancied, you know, learning something, you know, and from one video, it takes you on the journey and you then start your, you know, your quest, your inter uh, interaction with that hobby. Okay, so yeah, look out for little coincidences that lead you on the right pathway. But there's going to be kind of this, you've got the sun, which is it's going to bring you a lot of confidence and feeling good. Okay. Over to Jill. This okay. is working well, isn't it, girls? <laughs> yeah, it is. Tag Different to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what I've got here is... Um, Basically, I feel that for some Librans, there may be somebody from the past trying to reconnect. There better not be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. I do feel, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's for some, it's not for... for I know, I'm teasing. But I, I do feel that there is somebody that may try to reconnect, all right? But this person uh, that is trying to reconnect is um, in the past, I feel there was a lot of negativity around this person that may want to try to reconnect. And it feels very much as this, though this person was always waiting uh, for them to contact them, um, whether it be by text or a phone call. It was like, there was, it was always a waiting game with this person, but it was, it was a negative feel to it. So just be aware that somebody might come back in. However, with Libra, and I feel I feel you've got your guard up. Um, no matter what, you, you're kind of like, no, I'm not allowing this person to affect um, my life. I feel this is how you will feel, all right? And once you're kind of, um, I suppose in a way, sticking to your guns and you're kind of saying, I'm not going back there. So no matter how much you come forward or try to tempt me to go back, you will you will stand your ground with this, okay? Now, once you've dealt with this issue, that's when everything is just going to kind of move because, I, and I feel I'm in agreement with you, Ali, where it's, it's kind of dealt with it. No, I'm not going there because I know that that wasn't right for me. And this is where I'm going to be. And at that point, that's when we've got the chariot and you are literally running in the opposite direction to this person. So um, I don't feel you need to worry about it. Just be aware of it because it's not something I don't feel that you would go back to. So therefore, yeah. And, and with the chariot, I do like the chariot because I just think everything starts moving at a fantastic pace. <laughs> and propels you <laughs> and this feels propels you away from this person so I don't feel you need to worry about it because you're pretty guarded so uh, you wouldn't let them come back in but just be aware for some of you they they may try to contact 
Okay. Exciting stuff. Mm. <laughs> Vera, what you got for Libras? Well, it's, it's a bit all over the place and still connected with each other. So I like that. Okay. And um, yeah, on shaman's dreams. It's, it's about the dreams of, of things. And it feels maybe in the beginning of the week, you're dancing on one foot, a balancing act. And yes, that could fit with what the others say. Some people from the past might re try to reconnect. And that you feel like you're balancing on one foot. Should I, should I not? Should I take it or should I not take it? And, but when you stay in, you can be really balanced on one foot. So in a way you cannot be knocked over. And maybe someone is in, in the trying to call you back, but then towards the middle of the week, you have the th dream thief, refusal of the call. So that can be that they're trying to call you back and you're not answering that call. You're just gonna move on. Because yes, you can look back and then think, oh no, nope. I'm not going there. I'm not going to answer that call. And towards the end of the week, because you stay true to yourself throughout the week, it's going to feel like the first breath, beginner's mind. And that tells me it's, it's a time that you feel you are restarting. You left that past behind. It's moving forward like you are, well, I hear the word reborn. You feel completely new and start a new beginning towards the end of the week. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. So it's funny how we're all kind of in sync, aren't we? So it's good. I love it. Okay, um, so um, the next one out, Jill decide now, are we doing water signs or earth signs? Water. Water, okay. So we'll start with Scorpio, then Pisces, and then Cancerians. So Scorpio is my daughter, Rhiannon. Hello, Rhiannon. There we go. All right. So I'm swapping my cards over to the Light Seers Tarot. Hmm. And we're halfway through, girls. Yep. Okay, so this is the 7th through to the 13th of March. Okay. Beginning of the week, it will feel as if you are being kind of, um, you're on a journey, it's a, it's a financial journey, and you can't really um, do anything more about it because it's a, it's a calling. And this calling is going to be taking you towards earning a nice amount of money. It's like all the job of your dreams or the promotion that you've always wanted or the hobby that you've always wanted to take into a new direction. You know, it's like your dreams and your wishes have been, it's been answered, okay? And if you just follow your gut instinct, um, you're gonna get your rewards. And I feel that that is coming at the beginning of the week. We've got new money and we've got things moving forward, okay? So. By the middle of the week, um, there's going to be a little bit of kind of sorting out of money um, where you're going to be handling money differently, doing this and not doing that. OK, so you've had some really good ideas, though. So make sure you have a pen and paper. Make sure you write things down because it's like these downloads are coming um, to you. OK, I feel that there is somebody around you makes you a little bit cross. OK, the middle of the week, they're just being a bit insensitive to your enthusiasm, putting you down somehow, you know, trying to dampen down, you know, 
the, the ideas that you have. So be careful who you have a conversation with, okay, especially kind of this next, next coming week. Just be careful um, because I do feel as if there's people, it's like they're quick to criticise, but they don't ever take a chance and they don't ever step forward and try anything new out themselves. So it's like they sit on the sidelines criticising you for doing something about it but they're too frightened to do anything themselves. So it's like a bit hypocritical, okay, is what I feel. Um, yeah, emotionally, you're on this journey. Um, enjoy, enjoy the moments, enjoy what it is, you know, um, the, where it's leading you, but make sure you write down those really good ideas. Over to Jill. I've got similar to you, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> Literally got similar to you. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to go there definitely there are definitely rewards for efforts and i feel this this may link with um um a situation that you may deal with okay um could be to do with um a school college something like that um could be that you're dealing with that and you're looking at sort of different ideas on this um i don't see uh, i don't see it as more of a confrontation in, in in any way it's more that you're looking at different ideas it could be that you're even looking at um okay sorry that must my, my spirit guides are <laughs> interjecting as i'm saying it Okay, so what they're saying is that there could be a child um, that is looking to either go to work or college, uh, could be an apprenticeship, could be looking at uni. They're looking at all different options, but I feel that there are uh, the parents, <laughs> the parents are kind of sort of yeah, interfering in a way as though, yeah, just understand I would say that maybe the child in, in particular doesn't really want to hear they need to make their own mind up they need to look at all of their options okay um the rewards there I do feel are, are definitely coming okay and I also feel as though whatever decision this child makes you're going to be really proud of them because they're going to make it on their own merit, their own choices, um, and that, that they deserve they deserve to have this opportunity. Is how I feel. Okay, on an emotional um, level, I, I do feel that you yourselves um, there's a lot of love around you. <laughs> there's definitely a lot of love and support. But I also feel I've got to link that in with the child that is choosing the school, the college or work prospects um, allow them to choose of their own free will and just show them love. OK, don't don't try to tell them what they should and shouldn't do. Just allow them to start having that little bit of freedom. Because I feel as if it's important to them. But I feel it's it would be a good it would definitely be a good move for them, definitely. And that's what I get. That's it. Okay, okay. Dear. Yes. So what I got for scorpions, the first card that comes out came out mm -hmm. is success, and. I was immediately drawn to the Black Panther. Because sometimes when you feel you have to do things and you like to do that under cover of darkness. Because when they go hunt with their black skin, black fur, they won't be noticed until they are already on top of the prey. And that sounds horrible, but when you do that with respect and diligence, carefully, you can reap a lot of reward for yourself. Good food on the table. Towards the middle of the week, I have 
a card of release. And you see a beautiful tree with all the leaves mm -hmm. from the fall. And those leaves that fall to the ground are the, either carried by the wind. And it's those leaves, you think they get to waste. And yes, if you put that on children that are going out to school, finding their own ideas, hmm. it's something for the future because the leaves can also be nourishing the soil beneath the tree, which makes it a lot healthier for the next year. Mm. So you're working towards when those leaves start to fall, it's a life cycle. Mm. And in springtime, the trees will start to blossom again and you have beautiful green leaves. And that's all because of the old leaves have been falling on the ground. It keeps the ground healthy. And then towards the end of the week, it's it feels more like fulfillment you see the beautiful fruit on the tree the moon in the background behind it and yeah it may be sometimes hard to let things go to release the things to let the, say the ones that are in your life that you love do their own thing but when you see they can succeed if what they are set out to do, it will make you feel more proud and it will be less painful to have let them do their own thing because you cannot protect them for everything. They need to stand on their own, on their own, make their own mistakes. So they will eventually have that whole life cycles where they can pick the fruits of their hard work. That's what I got for Scorpio. And those were from the sacred destiny. You're muted, girl. Mm -hmm. I it. pressed it, but not in the right position. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're doing Pisces now. This is my sign and my mum. And it's her birthday this week. And um, mine the following week. So, well, it's it's my mother's heavenly birthday. Ah, oh, yeah. She, if she would have been alive, she would have been ninety-one. Wow. Okay. Well, happy ninety-one birthday. That would have been. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, mine just went missed. Did yours just skip a beat then? Jill, what we can't, yeah, we can't yeah. just as you yeah. went. Oh, yeah, mine. We all did it exactly yeah. at the same time. That's funny. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. Pisces, seventh to the thirteenth of March. Okay. Beginning of the week starts off with oh. <laughs> I got all excited there. At, oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm just looking to my mum. <laughs> I wasn't really this to be fabulous. This is a birthday <laughs> week. Okay, it is a little bit. It is a little bit. So we've got the ten of pentacles, which is good. This is a financial yeah. abundance. Mm -hmm. You know, things are good. Okay, but then we've got. I've got to make a decision here um, about mm. finances. I've got to mm. decide uh, what way to go, whether I'm going to go in that direction or that direction or stay as I'm going to stay, because things have just got a bit awkward. I'm having to tippy-toe around certain people, mm. certain situations, maybe work colleagues, maybe a boss. There's some things that aren't going to plan, and that is going to put a little bit of pressure on. But it is all about money, unfortunately. Mm. Um, if we could honestly choose what we would go what we actually wanted to do on our day-to-day -day lives um without having the pressure of money i don't think i'll do anything different than myself but um that's the beauty of being self-employed isn't it but there are some people that feel that they have to work they have to do um a job that they hate and they're having to go in every day 
Um, so that's going to be a bit awkward, okay? Um, but it is all about that security energy. So by the middle of the week, okay, if you're not working, because obviously some Pisces are not going to be working, if you're not working, then this will be about what you're doing with your money, okay, how you're handling your money, um, and the fact that you might need to change things a little bit, you know, it could be that you've got extra money coming in and therefore you've got different choices you need to make. Um, yeah, it, it can well be that. By the middle of the week, you're taking complete charge of your life. You're very focused on your life. You have decided that you are going to go for your dreams, that you're going to put yourself first, that if people don't like it, then they can go and do one. Um, because this is about you. This is about your energy. Um, we've got the Ace of Cups, which is about overflowing of love. Um, you know, you're doing this with love, but you're very, very determined that you are not going to be having to walk on eggshells around certain people in a job, that this is going to be your time, your journey. And that can mean changing a job or it can mean upsetting a few people because you're not doing the same things as you've done before. But it's about time for time for yourself. It is going to cause a few conflicts, I feel. There are going to be some kind of um, situations that you're going to have to deal with because um, things are changing, you know. Because of your decisions and the consequences of your decisions, there will be some changes. But, you know, when you know it's right, you put up with all of that because you know it's right. With the Hierophant, it's like spirits telling you that that's what you need to do. You know, you're moving on with the Wheel of Fortune. And yes, it might cause battles. It might be a bit of a hassle for yourself even. Does that make sense? Because of what you have to do. You could be battling in your own head even before you make the decisions, before you actually do anything about it. But it'll be good for you. So there you go, Pisces. Okay. So mine is very much focused on the uh, parent. <laughs> so... Uh, Definitely got uh, a bit of an internal battle. Um, I feel there are something, there is something definitely going on with, with the finances, and I do feel it is linked to the home. A little bit of a worry, you know, sometimes it's whether to sort of like take money from Peter to pay Paul, you know, it, it's, it's sort of that is what's going on. Um, and obviously it's a concern and it, I suppose in a way it does make sense with everybody's bills going up <laughs> next month uh, drastically. Um, so, but I do feel that this is sort of, because I've got the, the Queen of Wands for me is my mother card, this one. Because yeah. I see the, the, the line here and yeah. she looks after her cubs. So yeah. that, that's, uh, that is my uh, mother card in some respects. So, um, yeah, I do feel that there is probably going to be a little bit of a worry, not knowing what to do for the best, which is why we have the internal battle. I wanted to pull a positive card on that because to me that's that is sort of negative. So I did pull the death card. So for me, it's like once this is sorted, that's going to be the end of it. And, you know, and then you can kind of relax because you're going to get sorted and you won't have this sort of little battle going on within yourself. And I, I, my moon signs are <laughs> Pisces um, and I'm quite more like a Pisces than, I'm a, than I am a Sagittarian. And we, do worry, we do worry a lot about uh, finances um, and our kids and probably everything else. <laughs> yep. Um, but I feel don't worry too much about it, okay? You will work it out, but just allow yourself. It's fine. It's just what's going on at the moment, um, but you'll, you'll get it sorted, okay? Um, my emotions cards is, again, we've got the vision cards. So it is about keeping that vision going, um, knowing what you're aiming for, okay? And just going with the flow of it. So, yes, you've got the little bit of battle going on. But at the end of the day, as long as you're keeping focused, that's that's where you're going to end up. But you've just got to go with the flow and allow. Unfortunately, life's little hiccups 
just to sort of, yeah, they're like little bumps in the road, aren't they? And we, we have to get over them one way or another. So um, for me, it's positive because I pulled the death card as well because I wanted a positive. And for me, that is a positive. Yeah. New changes. That's, that's that one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. As well. For Pisces on the Sacred Destiny, my card, my way, it start, kicks off with a miracle card. And yes, you see two beautiful rainbows, which in itself is a miracle. And But I hear the, the words, you got, got to choose which one you want to go to. Are you going to go that one that's closest that you have to climb less? Or are you going to reach the highest and maybe miss out on seeing the true miracle? Because it's a longer climb. So maybe you just, it's all about, well, maybe just choose to stay where you are and watch both of them. Because when you see two rainbows at the same time, that is a miracle itself, which can... Yeah, they say at the end of the rainbow, there's a real treasure. So that could be also linked to finances. So you never know where the true value is. Towards the middle of the week, I got the truth card. And yes, you can see, because it looks like that tree Gets a lot, has been having a lot of wind from one side because the stem, it's not completely straight. And you can see it on the, on the, the, the how do you call them? The twigs on top of it, the tree. Branches. branches. The branches mm. all leaning to one side of that tree. Mm. Mm. And still, no matter how hard it storms, it could be someone is completely angry, shouts at you. Remember, you are that tree. They can try to blow you away, but you will stand ground, stay on your side. And this can be that indeed someone around you has some issue, but I don't think it's important to let yourself blow it out because you see those branches are still green, beautiful green leaves on it, even though the grass is completely, well, it feels like it's burned. Mm -hmm. That's not going to happen. And towards the end of the week, and I have to hold it even so I can see it better, it's about potential. And I, I can honestly say, I feel you have so much potential to do whatever you want. Because on the top of the mountain, you can see it could be potentially get an eruption, but it doesn't have to be. Potential can also be something you're good at. And... You've never thought of really kicking it off. So maybe start to get back to something you've always loved to do and brought you joy. So, yeah. Just look at the top of the mountain because there's also, it, I, it feels like the behind the mountain is there's the moon. Little bit hidden behind the smoke. But that's only a smoke screen, nothing else. So I feel it's going to be a bit rocky, a bit windy. But eventually you'll get to where you want to, want to go and need to go. We Pisces can cope. We can kick ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cancerians. Okay. I've already shuffled the cards. 
Okay, beginning of the week for Cancerians is go, go, go. Okay, this is for my Maggie and for other Cancerians. There's nothing stopping you. You've said to the universe, bring it, and the universe has brought it, and you've just got to go for it. So it's like, um, brilliant. Nothing is holding you back, you know. Fired up, completely and utterly fired up. Okay, it's a very exciting time. Look at these cards, they can't get any better. Just, I mean, you've already had victory, you've already had celebration, you've already gained a lot of respect from what it is that you're doing. Um, so all you have to do is just to up your game, take it to that next level. You know you can. Okay, so this is either your work, this is either, you know, something that you are finding that you're good at, um, potential. Um, it could be studying. Does that make sense? If you're studying, it means that you, you can study harder and get even more um, amazing results. Okay, so it's like whatever challenge you've set yourself, you're, you're like hitting it outside of all boundaries. Okay, you're going to have some strong words uh, the middle of the week. And I feel that this doesn't have to be to anybody in particular. This can just be that you're telling somebody what you think or you're having to do some public speaking or you're, you know, somebody asks you that question and they might be sorry that they asked you that question because <laughs> you're going to tell them what you think. Um, so you're not going to hold back. Okay, Kelsey, you're really not. Um, I'm seeing that you are weighing up um, a, a difficult situation linked with money, okay? Um, you, you are in a tricky situation because there's people around you who expect you to do exactly what you've been doing, okay? And so if you're thinking of changing, it means that you've either got to let somebody else down or you've got to somehow, um, you know, it's like steer away from other people. It's not always easy to do, is it? Because sometimes we kind of feel that we should just stay with the, you know, stay with the program. Don't change things. Don't, you know, don't push things. Don't push your boundaries too far. Um, but I do feel that there's a really good, op um, really good option coming for you. I feel to do with work or money. There is, and you have to decide what you're going to do. Okay, and that might be the announcement that you need to make. Um, the end of the week, getting on with it, okay. Um, there's so much, so many changes happening in your life that you are going to be, it's like your, your head spinning because it's so, so much. But whatever is changing, it's meant to be because it's like the guillotine is coming down on anything that is no good for you anymore. It's like stagnant things, things that aren't um, allowing you to grow, that aren't allowing you to be your true self, to, to show your true potential. Okay, you've already shown in the beginning of the week just how much respect you have for doing what you're doing. You've then got an opportunity, um, maybe with public speaking or getting your point out there, you've got this, um, this opportunity going um, your way, okay, and you've got to decide by the end of the week, I feel that somebody is hearing things that they don't want to hear from you and it's about your future and it might be about rocking, rocking the, um, the world a little bit around you because of the decisions that you've decided, but this is in your best interest. Okay, so there you go. Or you could procrastinate and not do it. I'm just going to put that out there. All right, here's your mind. Okay. Well, a lot of mine, a bit similar to, bit similar to yours in some ways. Um, the Ace of Wands, I love this card. It's like all your wants, your desires, everything you kind of wanted. The world is your oyster. There, there isn't a lot that is holding you back, apart from possibly yourself. <laughs> yeah, I got that right the last bit. It's like they came in with that, or you could procrastinate. <laughs> yeah, it's this feeling because I've got judgment, but I'm being told that it's 
they they could worry about being judged by other people for the decisions that they make. Um, I feel that they are being given the opportunity and the freedom to do what they want. Is how I see it for cancerians. But don't be put off by um, worrying about what other people think. What you've got to say to yourself is, well, whose life is it? It's your life. So you've got to do what is right for you and what makes you truly happy. And sometimes it doesn't sort of sit right with some people, but that's okay because they're not living your life, are they? You know, that's the way I, I see it. Um, I also feel there's, there's for, for some, I definitely feel there is keys to a property. Getting away from, um, I want to say other people around them. So this feels more as if it's to do with people that are maybe living next to possible <laughs> Neighbours that they may not get on with, okay? Because um, I'm definitely getting some of that as well, all right? And they need to make this move, all right? But I'm also seeing a feeling of, for some of you, a, a slight sort of like a feeling of independence. Um, it could be that some of you are about to leave home for the very first time. You could be going off to university, um, Mind you, that would be sort of September. I don't think that would be now, but there's definitely a, an opportunity of looking uh, at, at properties. Okay, definitely coming up, and it. But it's a good move. It's definitely a good move. Um, it feels as though it's been long awaited for some of you as well, but it's it, it's it's positive because it gives you that peace and that calmness and the tranquility that you want in your life. So I would say definitely do what you feel is right for you, no matter what anybody else thinks. You be you, Cancer, yeah. Here you go, over to you, Vera. Yeah, well, even though I got totally different cards, yeah, of course. Sacred destiny. Yep. The week for Cancerians are going to kick off also <laughs> with miracles. But it feels more like the abundance kind. About how you think about things, the energies. And the rainbows are just a symbol of that abundance. So this time I get a, a different message from the same card because it's, it can be read throughout all the different kinds. Towards the middle of the week, it says protection. And protection, yeah, that, is, that can be just energy protection because you see that tree, well, if it starts to rain, usually you can hide under the tree. But it can also be about protecting your boundaries. Don't let them slip off. Some people are very sneaky. They think they can sneak in. And before you know it, they're across your boundaries. So be aware of it. Just keep that protection. When you feel someone is sneaking in, don't push it aside because they do try to sneak in. And I think it's really important because towards the middle of the end of the week, I again have the success card with the Black Panther. And this time it feels like just do your own thing. Let people think that they have told you what to do. But in the meantime, you move, are moving in your own direction, the way you want to do it, wanted to do. And yeah, just go for it. Don't let anyone hold you back because you can do this all by yourself because that is in your destiny. 
That's what I got. Oh, thank it's you. It, it's funny that you, you get different parts of the card, a totally different feel to it. Yeah. No, it's, it's good. So Mary, Mary wanna... James says, thanks, ladies. What magical readings. Yeah. I just want to go back and read some of the comments here. So Mary Jane said, world's best procrastinator here. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and then when, when we said about, um, you know, about caring what other people say, she said, no, I don't give a shit what other people think. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Mary Jane said, I'll take rainbows. Not good with boundaries with my grandkids, though. Hello, Jan Bishop. <laughs> so, so, yeah, people are still following us on um, Facebook. Okay. I'm going to download StreamYard so that we can do stream both together. So YouTube and Facebook. I'm going to get that for next week. I'll give it a go. Okay, so we're doing Taurus. Taurus. Oh, it's a, it's a browser feature, so. Yeah, so I'm going to do Taurus, then Virgo, then Capricorn. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay. Oh, the cards are going everywhere. Are they here? Yeah, mine is as well. I've just <laughs> lost one. Again. Okay. It just landed on the, on the edge of the table. Oh, God, another one. What's going on? Wow. <laughs> Taurus people, it's going to be a busy oh week for you. Look. No, look, my cards are just doing whatever they want. They're going <laughs> Maybe it doesn't want me to do Taurus. I don't no. know. Oh, they do. They just, it's just lively. <laughs> so um, maybe they're excited. Let's they see. are. They do get excited. <laughs> so for anybody who's just joined us, we are doing the astrology Ooh. readings for the 7th through to the 13th of March. And then afterwards, I'm going to have to have a little break, probably 20 minutes, just a little break, and then I'll do the one-to-one -one readings. Jill, we'll have to you. have you on again to do maybe a Sunday night readings. Yeah. Again? Yeah. This next next Sunday, I can't remember why I can't do it next Sunday, <laughs> but we'll arrange something. Yeah, we'll maybe arrange that. Yeah, definitely. Okay. The roll level one? Maybe the 20, oh, that's why, yeah. <laughs> Um, 27th, uh, maybe the 27th. I'll have a look in a minute. In between the <coughs> readings, I'll have a look in my diary. Mm. Okay. All right. So, um, so Jill does a mixture of mediumship and future. So, if there is anybody out there who would like a reading with Jill, uh, we're going to be doing them for ten pounds. Little mini readings for ten pounds. A bit like you're getting kind of, you know, well, probably a bit longer than you're getting here. But it's still a mini reading. Okay. Mm. Just yep. little tasters. Okay, so um, Taurus, Taurus. Anyone know any Taurus people? Yeah. Yeah. My daughter's boyfriend. And you would like a one to one reading? Or is this for next week? Is it now? Um, you don't want to do any readings now, do you? You don't want to do... Uh, not now, because no. I've got Kendall in the morning, so I I'll need to have an early morning. So if you wanted a reading with Jill, then when you say yes, put Jill's name. Does that make sense? Because obviously... And then if you want a reading with me after this, then you'll have to put Ali and then um, yes, and then I'll put you down, okay? So, all right. Um, so for Taurus... Taurus is um, planning. Lots and lots of planning is going to be happening for Taurus people. I'm seeing everything seems to be in um, a waiting mode. And all that you can do is plan. That's, that's all you can do. You can't do anything else. Um, so we've got the temperance is trying to keep everybody balanced, trying to make sure everyone's all right, trying to decide what everybody's doing, does that make sense with their um, time? And will you fit in with me and I'll fit in with you? And if you do that, then I can do this. But it's all to do with kind of plans and planning. Okay, it could be driving you bonkers though. Got a large amount of money around you and a celebration. So there's definitely gonna be more money has been 
um, been able to come through, you know, more than you realized. It's like an unexpected addition to your wages maybe, or um, that you've kind of gained some extra money by doing some sort of hobby that's turned into a money-making scheme. But definitely you're feeling very comfortable. You're feeling as if, you know, you're gonna do some more of whatever you were doing to earn that extra money. Um, there are, have been obstacles to do with your ambitions. Like I said, everything's on hold. Um, so all, the, all those plans, um, they will start to lift off and start to take flight, but I don't think it's gonna be this week, Taurus. I think it's gonna be a little bit of a slow, steady kind of thing this week. Um, there is also a large amount of money linked with a house or a home. Okay, so it doesn't have to be yours, but you'll have something to do with this house or home. Um, it is also a feeling of being happy and secure. Um, so where things have turned out better than you realized, or, you know, things could have gone a very different way, but they didn't. I'm sensing that there is a character around who can't make up their mind. They suffer a little bit from depression and they're trying to decide where they're going to go, what they're going to do. And um, without them making their decision, you're kind of on hold. OK, so there you go, Taurus. That's for you what I see. Jill. OK, so Taurus, what I see here, uh, a lot of procrastination is the word that keeps coming to mind that has gone on with you. All right. Um, I feel you've put a wall up around some people. All right not wanting to listen um, to what they've got to say, whether you just want to shut off to, you know, anything and any, anything. It's like locking yourself away in some respects. Um, however, I have got the celebration card, and I want to say two things with regard to the celebration, not just one. I feel that you are kind of coming to a point where you, there is a realisation with yourself um, that you can continue to keep putting that wall up and not dealing with any issues that you know deep down you've got to deal with. Um, but I also want to say that it also can be a celebration um, for a, a, a birthday coming up soon within your family, because um, I, I definitely want two things with that, okay? Um, you've got a choice. You have the ability, Taurus, to be able to make this choice in your life, to remain in that stagnant sort of place um, or actually solve the problems and move forward. Um, I feel that there may be, for some of you, there may have been um, a breakup. And this is kind of triggered. So it could be that you're backwards and forwards with this person. Um, but just lately, something has changed. OK, and you've been given another opportunity. So could it be that now you need to sort of like go, you know what, I'm actually going to listen. I'm going to let my wall down. I'm going to deal with my issues. I'm going to sort everything out and I'm going to go through um, uh, go sorry rephrase that slightly um you've been given the opportunity to make the changes so that the relationship um is definitely worth celebrating not not a negative because sometimes when when we put walls up um it blocks progress um and it feels as though that's how it has been and sometimes through endings new beginnings happen and sometimes we do have to change whether we want to or not but that that's what i get but i feel it's positive because we've got the 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 celebration card so it's it, it could be good for you just let that little wall down is what i would say okay lovely okay okay hey. taurus people well with my sacred destiny cards, the week is going to kick off with trust. Trust your instinct, trust your intuition, trust what you know, but 
and now you also hear the words, also trust what people say. And that could be hard. And sometimes I think, because there's a boat, it feels like you're drifting. But have faith, trust that the universe got your back. Because towards the middle of the week, it also have, I also have the success card. And sometimes with the Black Panther, they just go hunt at night to find the prey. But they also listen really careful because they, their ears are very sensitive. Their whiskers are sensitive. And in the, when it is getting dark, when they start to hunt, they trust what they hear, feel, what they sense, and also what they can see, even though it may be uh, just an object, a shadow of an object. And they feel a lot also through their feet. So, and then towards the end of the week, and I hear the words deep inside, you feel like solitude. Just be with yourself, taking in all the advice you've had, sorting out what you can use. Because if you're in some ways a little uh, bit like me, sometimes you have to withdraw to see what people are actually trying to tell you. And that can be solitude can be a real good way to sift through all or through it all and yeah trust trust that you will see what you need to do so that's what i got for torians nice thank you um jill i've just looked in my diary so how about March, Sunday, the 27th of March? If you, uh, 27th March. Yep, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just putting it in my diary. Your earrings are really sparkly. What? They're really pretty. What are these? Yeah, they're little yeah. crystal type earrings, you know, the Swatch. Yeah. Little thingy, gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what time? What time is it? Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Yeah. So if anybody wants a reading with Jill, um, seven thirty, um, and that is um seven thirty. That's two thirty Eastern, but two thirty p.m. Eastern, eleven thirty a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Okay. So that's Sunday, the twenty seventh. And their readers with Jill, and Jill does a mixture of both. Okay. If anybody wants a reading with me later than that, I can do them after. Okay. So Jill can do her readings and then I'll do mine after. Okay. So, all right. Hopefully, by that time, I have a couch to sit on again. Well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we've got to pray that this friend really gets that stamp of approval to build a home on their new property. Okay. Is that what's holding things up with the furniture then? Yep. Yeah. But well, I okay. hope that you that's okay. settled. So Anne Marie Brookhouse, I've um, added you to the readings. So you'll be reading number four. These won't be live a bit later on. So I'm going to have a little break and then I'll come back on um, later and do these readings. The first one um, will be, I'll, I'll, let, I'll message everybody to let them know anyway. Okay, so they're £10 a reading, which works out at $14, depending on if you're in England. All right then. <laughs> so um, we're now doing Virgo. Yep. Last okay, two. Virgos. We're on the last two. This works out better, I think, when there's a lot of us doing readings, just little ones, just, just little, I think, because 
We've done before and it's been four hours later. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Very long. Yeah. I'm going like that in the end. <laughs> yeah. Getting real. Oh. It's nearly you're, midnight. You're getting, <laughs> you're getting better at a little one, Sally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're better. <laughs> and I All love right. it that every that each of us get, even though they're intertwined, still a different part of everything. Mm. oh that's all right Anna if you're not going to be around later that's absolutely fine next Sunday um is we're going to be around with Jill so readings with Jill okay all not, right not so, next not next Sunday oh not next Sunday the 27th the 27th. <laughs> 27th sorry <laughs> confusing everything okay so Virgos let's have a look at you Virgos 7th through to the 13th of March All right. Okay, so lots of spiritual energy around you. Don't be surprised if you're not getting little messages, kind of little downloads, um, you know, for yourself or for others. Don't be surprised. Um, keep yourself open to it. The more open you are to the spirit world, the better it's going to be for you guys because they can they can guide you. Um, they can shine out different pathways that are going to be more beneficial to you. Um, they can give you, you know, just be open to the channel energy. Just be open to it. Um, you know, make sure that you kind of, um, it's like the protection. You don't have to be kind of really um, worried about the protection, but you do have to kind of say, um, you know, I'm in my bubble of light, you know. Um, put yourself in a bubble, put yourself in, um, you can, it can be like a crystal ball or, you know, like a, if you're in, if you're around people who have got spiky energy, who aren't that nice to you, then put yourself in the middle of a glitter ball, you know, those old fashioned 70s glitter balls, all the mirrors facing outwards. And what it does is if anyone's firing anything at you, it's going to go straight back at them. Okay. You're not sending it. They're sending it to themselves. Okay, so no karmic energy is going to come to you because you're not sending anything negative. Okay, um, but yeah, just put that up around yourself and then whatever comes through is going to be good stuff, isn't it? Okay, you'll feel it, you'll feel it. Okay, so yeah, your psychic ability is going to be very strong. Got the hierophant there and you can see. Um, it could be that you're very interested in the psychic world and you've not done maybe anything about it yet. Maybe you know that you're psychic, but you think now's the time for me to do something more there's an overflowing of love and affection okay coming towards you um you are feeling as if this is exactly what i need i'm not going to um i'm not going to have anything less than this anymore just i mean so you you know you're very very determined um to be looking after your inner child inner child is very important energy for you Virgos okay um I'm seeing that talks around uh, moving rerouting changes in the home okay I feel as if I'm looking at legal or official documents as well um signatures um looking at the intricate details of a contract um you know getting a letter and having to write the appointment in books that type of thing there's lots of official things Okay, but I do feel this is to do with moving and changes, does that make sense, in the home. Um, there is a little bit of anger going on in the home as well, the middle of the week, um, where you have to kind of put yourself in kind of a, a, a shield, does that make sense, shielding yourself, you know, shielding yourself, not wanting um, any of that anger to come at you, just what I mean. So, you know, um, I think that bubble energy should, should work really well. By the end of the week, we've got those dreams and wishes um, are going to be, you're back on track with those dreams and wishes. You're very focused on your own future. Um, and I feel that you've been walking sideways around your, your own dreams because everybody else's um, issues have been a priority, you know. Um, so it's like you've supported everybody around you to follow their dreams but now it's time for yours. Now it's time to say, this is it. 
okay this is what i have been you know preparing for this is what i've been preparing for and now we're off and running um there is a little bit of a worry to some extent around a person to do with they're going self-employed and you're worried about that self-employment energy or maybe you're thinking of going self-employed and you're worried about it i feel with the right energy it will work just what i mean just believe and that's all they need to do is believe in themselves okay there you go that's what i see okay so for some of you uh, virgos out there it to be honest it feels as though like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders um it feels as though a lot of the weight you're carrying though are other people's problems not actually your own uh, but you feel quite sort of like responsible as though you've got to carry the problems um, and this is kind of causing you a little bit of upset within yourself okay now sometimes it can feel to you like this is a lot more hard work than what you would like um, however I just for me as much as it's hard work there is a light at the end of the tunnel, okay? So everything is resolvable, is what I would say. Don't allow it to get you down in any way, all right? I feel as though they're, they're sort of trying to say to me as though you need to sort of wheedle out um, the problems that are not your own. Once you wheedle out the problems that are not your own, there's not so much pressure on you you don't need to carry everybody else's problems and you don't need to solve everybody's problems. No, just focus on your own and you'll find that, that it's, it's, it's not as heavy a load as you've uh, been going through. Stay strong, okay? Stay strong. And, and I feel like as if you might need to be firm, but firm with yourself. There may be some of you as well, though, I feel you may also need to be firm with others that may come to you and want to offload. <laughs> um, again, that would be like another heavy weight on your shoulders. It's time to stand your ground on that one and sort of say, look, I can't deal with this right now. OK, I've got enough going on. There's nothing wrong in that. Everyone can turn around and say, no, it's not the right time. I can't do it. Uh, on an emotional level, uh, for those in a relationship, um, I've definitely got the true love card here. And I feel for those of you that are, are in, a, in a loving relationship, um, you're feeling pretty much on top of the world right now. <laughs> you, you feel whoever you are with... Um, so I'm trying to think of the saying... I'm, I'm getting floats your boat. <laughs> <laughs> they, they make you happy, you know, and, and just keep going with that. So aside all of this sort of problems that are going on with everybody else's problems, um, emotionally, you're feeling pretty good um, in your own relationship. Yeah, that's what I see for you guys. That's lovely. Thanks, Jill. Okay. Well, what I got for Virgos for the upcoming week, the trust card, card again. And I feel that the universe is asking you to just trust the process. They have your back. They will be there. And again, <laughs> on that card, I'm drawn to the boat that is floating on that beautiful blue water where the moon shines on. So it's when you find the courage to trust what you get, what you feel, your intuition, it, it will help you. It will help you sift through things that you don't want on your path and towards the middle of the week they also ask you to have courage and i'm extremely drawn to all those heavy waves hit, hitting the rocks and 
Yeah, going back to the beginning of the week, that trust, trust, you can stand your ground. Because they can hammer you, try to hammer you with all the waves. And the only thing that will happen is how you feel cleansed. Because you can sift through, feel what you need to know, and put up the boundaries you need to. So they don't be, you cannot have, they cannot hammer you down. And when you feel that all those waves, maybe all the energy that's coming over you, but towards the end of your week, you will see because you kept true to yourself, trusted the process, the miracles will appear right in front of you. Just have to, and maybe just ask for it that you look outside and all of a sudden you see a rainbow as a sign from a loved one telling you, I'm okay, I'm good, I got you back. And if you need anything, sort it out, I will support you. So that's what I got for Fergus. Lovely. And your back is going out a little, Ellie. Yeah, it's hurting. So that's why I need a break before I do the other readings. So yeah. I'm sorry if people are waiting, but I just can't. Um, so Capricorn. So on the last one of the astrology readings, so we've done all of the readings now, um, apart from Capricorns. Okay. So, no. <laughs> we're busy. I have already shuffled these. So, okay, the beginning of the week, bring it on, you're saying. Bring it on. You're ready to earn some money, Capricorns. You're ready to um, start that self employment business. You're ready to make that hobby turn into something money making. You're ready to. Um, sell those things that you've always said you're going to sell you know you're ready for that money to start flowing in it's like you're really fired up it's about looking after yourself rather than waiting for somebody to come rescue you you know no I don't want to be rescued I'm going to do it myself I'm not going to be you know um, become a victim I don't want people to feel sorry for me I want people to see me as a strong person and somebody who knows what they want in life. It's like, who do you want to be? Who do you want to be known as? What sort of person? And that's how, that's what you're pushing across. And it's like, that's gonna be the start of the week. You're pushing yourself forward. You've got the Ace of Wands, which means I'm fired up about a certain subject or certain situation. It might mean that you've got to get rid of the old stuff in order for the new stuff to, to happen. It could be, I mean, for some of you, I'm seeing a complete change in hobbies. It's like you've always done this, but now you don't want to do that anymore. You want to do something else. So you're selling all of your old stuff. Don't want it anymore. And then with that money, you're then buying something else that it is that's going to fire you up to do um, something more. Um, there is public acclaim around you. Well done, people are saying. You've done well, you know. Um, people are noticing your hard work and they're seeing it paying off. They're admiring you for going for it, for not holding yourself back. It could be that you procrastinated for a long time and you've said, I'm not doing it anymore. Um, so these are all movement, movement, movement cards. OK, but the tower is also getting rid of the old. OK, getting rid of the old, ready for something new. OK, so. Um, so, yeah, you're taking charge um, of it. You know, there is going to be endings. There's going to be beginnings. OK, this week is about endings and beginnings um, or beginnings, then changes things ending and then a new beginning. So that's going to be the order of it. They've just said to me, you're walking on eggshells around a person who is trying to control you. They're trying to take over. They're trying to tell you what you should be doing. You've kind of, you know, when you do that nodding, 
as if you understand what they mean than doing nothing about it. You've been trying to get away with that for a long time, but I feel that their nagging's getting a bit louder and your kind of easygoing manner is going, nah, nah. And, and so you're starting to change things the way that you want to change them things and it won't be the way that they want or have expected you to change things. They might have taken it as gossip, as gospel when you've been kind of just nodding. It's like, so, you know, so you've got to do that, that I've said, and you've been nodding and then you go and do the complete opposite. <laughs> so there may be some issues about lack of communication between you and this person trying to control you but they must know you because I feel this person knows you really well and they know that you don't like to be controlled. Um, and so really deep down, they shouldn't be surprised, but you're definitely on a quest for change and to be that survivor person. Kicking ass this week, Capricorns. Okay. <laughs> Similar to you again, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to put okay, some food so on what account. I've got Basically, um, Capricorn, I feel that you've got a lot of strength now to finally open up and be true to yourself about a job um, that you would like to do. New career. It feels, for some reason, it does feel a complete change. Um, you want to do something different. Um, you've definitely got the opportunity coming, coming up for you to do this, okay? And it is something... Um, it definitely could be self-employed, um, or sorry, self-employment, um, because it's something where you can kind of get your teeth into and you're going to push for this, okay? You have the strength there, no matter what, you can do this, all right? Could be a service that you're providing to, to others. So therefore, um, excuse me, uh, with the three of ones for me, it's definitely an offer uh, that you can give to other people. So definitely look into this, okay? On an emotional level, um, I feel that you're, you know, sometimes those of you that are possibly in a relationship that uh, you may feel as though you're a bit like a doormat and you kind of had enough. You don't want that kind of life anymore. You don't want to have to be the one that has to lay down and let everybody walk all over you. It's time for you to stand up for yourself, okay? You want just a peaceful, tranquil, calm life, but you haven't got it. Obviously, I know that this doesn't mean for every single uh, Capricorn out there, but for those of you that are in a situation where you do feel controlled or you feel like they don't treat you the best, okay? It's time to make a stand for what you want. It feels with the star, it feels as though I've got to link the star card that I've got, okay, with the emotion cards because it's about time that you actually open up and be um, honest with yourself and um, also honest with your partner on how you are really feeling and enough is enough. Um, I'm being told careful consideration. You will think about it. I don't feel it's something that you will go straight in and go, blah, blah, you know, this is how I feel. I feel you will think before you actually speak and say how you feel. So just go with it because it's time you had what you want, definitely. Okay. That's my lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, for Capricorn, in the beginning of the week, I got the community card. Again, with a beautiful rainbow and the butterflies, which tells me it's, yeah, it's also time to connect more with the, with the community around you, with the people around you, or, or at least like, uh, I hear the word like-minded people. Because when you can talk to like-minded people, you don't have to work as hard to get your point across because they understand where you're coming from. And 
yeah, when you connect with that community, your spiritual community, it will make you feel a lot stronger and also heard. And towards the middle of the week, because when you are able to connect with your spirit family, you can also, because that's deep inside, deep down inside you, you feel like I need some relaxation. Because when you can talk with people like-minded, you can sit back and relax because you don't have to fight as hard to get your point across. And towards the end of the week, and these two stuck together, so that means they want it out together. And one is the action card and the other one is openness. And when you put those together, yeah, sometimes you have to open up about your feelings, about who you are, about your needs. And it's a lot easier when you do that with like-minded people but you can also bring it out to the universe because it is time for action to get what you need in life to get what you to, yeah to get to, to the point you can take care of yourself and you have the guts to open up so keep that in mind while you go through the week because i do feel when you do connect with people like-minded, you will see you're understood and you can open up about, yeah, maybe some, maybe some of your fears or insecurities. Speak it out because when you speak out what you feel inside, it's a shared vision. It's a shared thought and then it's not as heavy. So that's what I got. Capricorn. We all do well. Yay. <laughs> we did good. So um high five girls. High five. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Jill wasn't so bad. No, it was all right. Even in really minutes. well. <laughs> so you should just come on and go live and just do it. I think people want to hear it. And Vera's going to do it. She's going to kick past that. You know, you can always record them and then put them on. That's always an option. Yeah, I, might, I might do. I'll probably just do my YouTube one. Yeah. I've just got to, because I didn't want it on the other one, because that's to do with meditation. So yeah. um, I might set up a different one. Well, why not it be about meditation and that? Is it yeah, true. Yeah, I could change. And it's all the same kind of thing. Mix them. Kind of thing. Yeah. Mix them together because when you, I, I feel when you use the cards, you can fill in what a person needs and maybe even advise a type of meditation to get there. Mm. Yeah. Oh. So, Swift girls, try. make sure that you put your details. If anybody would like a one to one reading with any of these lovely ladies, then please um, message them. If you want a reading with myself, you can go to psychicalley.net and you can book in there. Um, I'm going to come off the live and do one to one readings. If anybody does want a one to one reading, you'll have to inbox me. Okay, inbox me because I won't see the messages because I probably won't be able to keep up. Okay, so um, doing reading. So um, I've got free booked in. Um, so if anybody wants one, it's £10 today, um, which works out $14. And uh, you can pay via the um, website. It's got book a, make a payment button or you can come, um, you can go to PayPal. So we'll leave it there, girls. Um, I'll contact yeah, people who have been booked in for readings. I'll do, I'll do that now. Okay. Thank you, Jill. The night. Bye. Lovely. Thank you, Vera. Right, no worries. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.